Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill. Well, a very good afternoon, everybody. It's that time again. It's fight week on the zone this Saturday from the AO Arena right here in Manchester. Jordan Gill and Zelfa Barrett collide in an intriguing all British super featherweight clash. A must win for both if they are to look towards a shot at 130 pounds world honours later this year. Mr. Darren Barker. Now, Darren, we love coming back to Manchester. So many brilliant nights at that famous old arena, the spiritual home of boxing in this great city, but a special arena for yourself as well. Oh, I don't always like bigging you up, but a, come on. A magical moment for me. 2002 won a Commonwealth Games here in that very arena. Uh, very special place to me, yeah, always holds a place in my heart. What a fight city and we have a fight Saturday night which promises to live up to all expectations. Well, I'm surprised you didn't bring the medal. Uh, do you know what? I forgot it, mate. I <laughs> usually have it. I usually <laughs> wear it all the time, like Mr. T. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Manchester. Great turnout here ahead of another big night for British boxing. This Saturday, live and exclusive round the world on the zone. Where to start? Brandon Scott, big opportunity back on Saturday night, huge amount of tickets sold, ready to go. You are not doing this to me again. Do you realize what you did to me? Right, everyone, let's see who this really is. Eddie, do you know this man? I have no idea what's going on. Before Sonny runs off, this is like my way of announcing that Sonny will be working alongside Lee Eaton to co-manage me going forward, which is crazy to think about it. I remember meeting Sonny in the O2 when Lomachenko fought Luke Campbell. And then in the last fight in the O2, he was in my corner, and now he's co-managing me, sat in a Spider-Man costume. This is just proof, ladies and gentlemen, that we live in a simulation. I'll do anything for money, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and the game and the sport would be such a better place if fights like this just happened all the time. Two guys that are right in line to challenge for the World Championship, two Brits who are just prepared to gamble on Saturday night to get that shot at the world title and to give us a great fight in Manchester. Zelfa Barrett, who came so close to winning the World Championship against Rakimov in Abu Dhabi, gets a chance to headline in Manchester Arena. And the man to my right, they wrote him off after the Kiko Martinez fight. Talk about a second wind. Devastating performance against Mick Conlon out in Belfast to win as he looks to challenge for the Super Featherweight World Championship as well. Yeah, I've been running past this arena. I've been here when Kuala Box, Dallas Perez twice, um, Linares, Scott Quigg beat Kiko. You know, I've been around there, watched Hatton. So, you know, it's just like a, a little achievement for myself to, you know, headline. Obviously, both of you are sitting right there for a shot at the world title, but the winner of this fight, no doubt, should go on and challenge for the world title as well. Is that the reason that you wanted to take this fight? Obviously, the opportunity to fight in Manchester, but you just believe you've got too much for Jordan Gill? I believe, you know, he's a good fighter, he's got a good team around him, but I just believe I'm better than him in every single way, shape and form. That's just my opinion, that's what I believe. You know, um, he said he's going to knock me out, you know, crazy, but yeah, man, we'll see. Jordan, welcome. I kind of said earlier in an interview that you kind of just roll in the dice and it's, you're free rolling at this point. I'm not sure whether you feel the same way, but right now you look super chilled, ready for a big night in Manchester on Saturday. The biggest of your career so far? Yeah, it is the biggest of my career so far. I am super chilled. We're having a good time. We had a good time in Belfast. We're having a good time in Manchester. Yeah, it's a good city. I was just looking forward to fight, fighting and, um, yeah, rolling the dice again. I went to Belfast to box Condon, coming to Manchester to box um, Zelfa. So, long may it continue. I'm just enjoying myself and, and having a good time. You know, Zelfa is very versatile. He does a lot of things well. He's got a lot of strings to his bow. Um, He's a good mover, he can punch, he's good on the counter. Um, yeah, he's, he's very fast. So I just, I just can't see a way that this fight isn't going to be exciting. And that, as a, as a boxing fan and a boxer myself, you know, it just makes me excited for it. So I think there's going to be a bit of everything in this fight. There's going to be moments where it's cagey, moments where we're boxing, moments when he's pressuring, when I'm pressuring. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. I think there's going to be blood and guts and I'm here for it. I know that Barry was saying, you know, when I saw him in the change room after the um, Condon fight, he was talking about how hard you're punching. 
right now. You've always been able to punch at, at 26, but it seems like there's real word around the gym. I don't know if it's something in the gym with Lee Wood, you know, when he joined, sort of becoming a big, big puncher. We've seen AJ back to his striking best as well. But, you know, a lot of noise about the power that you're bringing into this fight as well. Imagine how much power I'd have if I got Barry to dress up as Spider-Man. I think we missed a trick there. Bad form him not doing it, to be honest with you. <laughs> this fight, one of the top fights in women's boxing that I think can be made. Ellie Scottney against Segolene Leboeuf for the WBO and the IBF Super Bantamweight World Championships. We're seeing time and time again that the female fighters are stepping up into the big fights in unification fights as soon as possible. It's obviously a big um, boxing country, the UK, and I'm delighted to be here in Matchroom, obviously uh, known throughout the world. I'm delighted to be here and to have this opportunity to uni unify the fight, and there's no question in my mind I'm not here to surrender my belt. Uh, my plan is to take both belts back with me to France on Sunday. A great fight on Saturday night. Uh, yourself, Segaline, Erica Cruz, Mercado, all great champions and a chance to add another belt to the collection in Manchester. Yeah, for sure. As soon as I won the world title, you know, we sat down and the unification was what I wanted next. Uh, obviously, it was one fight in between, but all that matters is Saturday night and that's the next step and I'm ready to go. Do you study the opponents? I know Shane and the team will as well. I know you're a boxing fan, most likely watching Roberto Duran <laughs> and other fighters. On. Yeah, she looks a bit different <laughs> to Roberto Duran. <laughs> but you, you watched the action, you watched the fighters as well, studied the opponent for Saturday? Yeah, you know, me and Shane have sat down, we've watched her, and she's someone that I've looked at before, I even challenged for the World Cup. We tried to make the fight, but it didn't align, whereas, you know, we're fighting for more on the line on Saturday night. Rhiannon Dixon looking to become a world champion from up the road in Warrington. It's a massive step up for her after winning Commonwealth and European Championships against Karen Carabajal, who we saw, of course, fight Katie Taylor, give her a great fight, take rounds off her as well at Wembley Arena. Yeah, I'm really excited for it and I can't thank you enough. You know, you took a risk on a girl from White Collar. I was a pharmacist at the time and I'm going to repay the favour on Saturday and show you that, you know, I, I belong at this level. That belief has been important, but something that's really grown in you over the last couple of fights. You've proved that you're at this level, but it is a step beyond that on Saturday night. Good victories for the Commonwealth and European, but this is a true world level fight on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. I think confidence was a massive thing when me and Anthony got together. He obviously believed in me and it was just me believing in myself. And you can see from like my walkouts, like I actually cringe at myself. It's so embarrassing. I'll do it this Saturday as well. Um, but no, I, I know I'm at this level and, and I can't wait to show it and bring the world title back to Warrington. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you for this opportunity to once again have this chance to fight for a world title. And we're completely ready for this, this opportunity. We've been preparing extremely hard and we're totally ready for this fight on Saturday night. A fight that could potentially steal the show is the English title fight between Michael Gomez Jr. and Kane Baker on Saturday night. Both fighters always in all action fights. I think our styles are going to gel. Fantastic and fantastic crowd-pleasing fight, 100%, non-stop, engines and punching. <laughs> and that's what we want. Michael, welcome. Um, this is going to be a great fight, you two. Um, I know you don't see it as a 50-50 fight, but I'm sure you respect Kane. He always brings it every time. Big support from you. English title defence, ready to go in Manchester on Saturday night. Yeah, first of all, shout to yourself. Matt Trim, there's all around you. Kevin, me for putting me on on Saturday. Can't wait, mate. No, let's go. Nothing else to say. Crazy fans, ready for the experience. Everybody's ready, mate. From the first bell, it's going off, mate. It's going off. For as long as it lasts, it's going to be fun. Jordan Gill against Zelfa Barrett will headline for a shot at the world title. Manchester Arena, live and exclusive on the zone around the world. We have a great fight card for you, of course. As we said before, the unification matchup, Ellie Scottney against Leboeuf. Rhiannon Dixon goes for the world title against Karen Carabajal, opening the broadcast as well. A banger with Gomez against Kane Baker. Steve Clark and Jack Turner representing Liverpool. Jordan Flynn here after his disappointment ready and getting ready for the fight, of course, with Cameron Vong. Jimmy Sainz looking to go 4-0. William Crawler in his hometown. And Brandon Scott, a.k.a. Spider-Man, is back. Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill.